Are we experiencing cloudflation? Let's find out. The pandemic gave cloud computing a kick as enterprises quickly moved to the relative safety of public clouds. According to Gartner Research in February, overall cloud investment will reach $544 billion this year. For those of you keeping score, that's up 21% from the previous year. But is this a good news? CFOs and CIOs with sticker shock are trying to figure out why their cloud bills are so high. In many instances, the opposite was promised when enterprise IT began its cloud journey. What happened? Price increases account for some of the pain, but most of the unexpected bills are due to a lack of discipline with cloud cost spending and inadequate controls on that spending. It's like someone complaining about a high electricity bill after they set the air conditioner to 60 degrees in the summer. What did they expect? The inability to gain an accurate insight into cloud usage and expenses is the main problem. Moreover, complex cloud pricing and complex multi-cloud settings are contributing to the problem. Enterprises jumped feet first into cloud computing with vague ideas about how we would track and control costs. Many companies have little or no insight into any cloud costs before they get the bill. Then learn about the cloud expenses and cost. CFO and CIOs fail to forecast cost and did not allocate budget and resources to manage cloud costs get hit with a surprise and shock. But here's the good news. Implementing a rudimentary FinOps strategy with cloud cost monitoring, controls, and forecasting can help. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video useful. For more such videos, please subscribe our channel to Boost with Fanware. Don't forget to like and hit the bell icon.